Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are still in the Better Energy Flow series and today we do a back body stretches. It's to open the bladder meridians which runs along your back body from the neck to the heels. let's warm up the spine a little bit let's come on to your hands and knees and let's do cats and cows here as you inhale tailbone up drop the belly and chest forward and exhale start with the tailbone draw your tailbone down lift your navel in and up and push your shoulder blades to the ceiling a couple more rounds here Now exhale, come back to neutral spine. Walk your hands, one hand forward. And tuck the toes as you lift your knees up. Come into your downward facing dog. Let's bend your knees here, lengthening the spine. We inhale, bend your knees. And we'll exhale, press the thighs and heels back. And let's move in that way. Inhale, bend the knees, keep your sitting bones high and keep your spine nice and long. Exhale, press your thighs back and up, reach your heels back and down. A few more rounds here. If your heels are off the floor, don't worry about it. If it's already on the floor, you want to stretch your calves more walk your feet a bit back i keep my core in throughout the whole movement last one inhale bend the knees and exhale, straighten your legs. We'll inhale, roll forwards into a plank. Bring your knees down. And let's step your right foot forward outside of the right hand. We'll come into a lizard pose. So foot in line with your hand. We're lengthening the spine. P press your hips forward and down. And I keep my hips leveled throughout you can stay here on your hands or drop your elbows down on the floor or blocks still keep your chest lengthening perhaps put the weight more on your right hip as you come down the body wants to go to the left. Inhale, lengthening, get long, feel the stretch. Exhale, just relax into the pose. You can come deeper by bringing your hands on the floor and then bend your elbows, reaching the elbows out to the side. Then right hand can grab outside of your right angle, press the angle in, chest forward. So your chin might be on the floor, and then the shoulders, and then the chest. Again, try not to lean to the left. Keep your weight on the right side. Opening this right hip. Press the palms and come up. Go back into hands and knees and switch the side. Left foot forward. Long spine. Keep ears in line with the shoulders. 
ribs and hips. Stay on your hands or you can come down on the elbows. This pose stretch the, your back and the back of your hips. To go deeper, bend the elbows to the side, grab outer left angle and send the chest forward, chin down, both shoulders and chest. Now to come up, press the palms down. We'll step the left leg back and keep your toes tucked here. Just send your sitting bone to the heels. Rest on the child's pose. And then walk your hands back. We're gonna stretch the back of your heels by keep the toe tucks just sitting on your heels here. If it's unbearable, you can lift your hips up, kneeling, and then go back. When you need to come up, just lift the hips up again. You might feel stretch on uh, the toes as well. And we will keep the spine nice and long, stack sh your ears, shoulders, ribs, and your hips. A couple more breaths here. Out of the pose, hands forward, just tapping the top of the feet down, just release your toes. And I will sit back to your heels and lean to one side as you swing your legs forward. So we want an L shape here of your body, straighten your legs. I want you to reach your heels forward, pull the toes towards your shins, press your sitting bones down so you can lift the spine nice and long. So two things here, heels pressing forward, sitting bone pressing down, the spine rise up. Adding on, straighten your arms above the head. Lift the arms from the side ribs, Let's breathe here. Again, heels reaching forward, sitting bones reaching down. As you exhale, bend from the hip crease. Don't have to go low. Inhale, go up. Exhale, bend forward from hip crease. Keep the spine nice and long, no rounding. Inhale, go back up. So focus on lengthening the spine, straighten your legs, heels forward, sitting bones press down, exhale forward. 
we inhale go up each time that you go forward you might be able to lower your torso slightly more if your torso can come very low almost parallel to the floor you exhale bring your hands on the floor relax your arms and inhale bring your arms next to the ear exhale arms down relax the spine inhale straighten your arms next to the ears extend the spine Inhale, extend. Exhale, arms down, relax. Inhale, extend. And then next time we're going to lift the spine all the way up. And release your arms. Okay, from here we're going to do arm um, stretching the neck. Well, first, you can sit in the cross legs or you can sit um, on the heels like myself. And you want to lift the sternum up. Keep your ears in line with your shoulders, hips and side ribs. With the chest lift, exhale, just bring your chin to your chest. As your chin is coming down, think of lifting your chest up to your chin. A couple more breaths here. Inhale, lift the head up. Moving on, we'll straighten your legs forward. Right. Grab in front of your shins, press shins to hands, press hands to chins. We're going to round the spine, doing the rolling back and forward here. So we want to balance on the sitting bones first and we inhale, balance on the shoulder, exhale, roll forward, inhale, roll back, exhale, forward on the sitting bone, inhale, back. So keep the flexion on your spine, the C curve on the belly, shoulders relax. Inhale, back, forward, exhale. This rolling practice will help you with swinging your hips up for the plow pose and shoulder stands. All right, and then bring your feet down. Next one, we're gonna do a plow pose. You're going to use the same idea, but instead bring your hands behind your thighs. And then use your exhale to roll all the way back. Stay on your shoulders, knees to the forehead, hands walking down towards your upper back. You can walk your shoulders together to lift the back higher. And think of sending your hips above your shoulders. You may start with the hips behind the shoulders. That's okay. Later on, your hips will go more towards your head. And your hands can walk lower towards your upper back. If it's okay, straighten your legs, toes on the floor. You cannot touch your toes on the floor. You can keep your legs bent and bring in, keep your knees over the forehead. You want to lift your back even more. Interlace your fingers. Walk your shoulders together a little bit more. Press your arms down. Next 
step to opening the back of your neck it's to do the shoulder stand so you're gonna bring your hands on the back your hips stay the same one leg at a time straighten your legs up to the ceiling and to make the pose lighter, you squeeze your inner thighs together. Use your uh, abdomen to help you draw abdomen in. Reach to the bar of your feet. Come out of the pose by bringing your feet towards the head. Use your arms as a break. Squeeze your thighs, navel in, roll down. And then bend your legs. Counter pose here. The first one, you can do the bridge pose to open the front body. You can also do the fish pose. So bridge pose. Inner thighs engage. Press your heels down. Roll your hips up. Reach your fingertips forward. Optional, you can do the fish pose on the top right of the screen. Press your elbows and lift the chest. Exhale, roll the body down. And straighten your legs forward. And we are done for the back body stretches. If you like to do more of the counter pose, then visit the front body stretches video in the link below. Thank you so much for joining the class. I see you guys next time. Bye-bye.